Hello, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I'm back with another reaction video today and I'm really excited because one of you lovely women, I'm gonna assume you're a woman because the majority of my audience is a woman, slid into my DMs on Instagram and said, I must, I must react to this YouTube video of this family that did their family's wash day. It's seven kids, seven different hair types, and it's their wash day routine. You guys said I should react to it, so I, who would I be? If I do not listen to you, okay? Yeah, we're gonna react to this video. The channel name is called Maz Maz Maz. Mazali, I'm gonna say it's Mazali. And I've seen their videos a couple of times, which is sometimes, you know when you just kind of bypass things, you see something outrageous and you're like, that ain't true. These people have many, many children. Wow. Anyway, I'm interested, so <laughs> let's get into it. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure to give this a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you can join the family. And also make sure you hit that notification bell right next to it so you always get notified when I post a new video. Okay? All right, so let's get into it. Who has an itchy scalp? I do. <laughs> we have so many different hair types in our family. So you guys are gonna see what everything that we use on everyone's different hair. Uh, I'm gonna work on the older girls here mostly. Uh, you can do the younger kids here. Look at that one. Mm -hmm. Oh goodness. I'm just gonna pause real quick because I'm stressed out. <laughs> I'm already stressed out. I could not, first of all, seven kids? Not one, not two, not three, not four, or not five. No six, but seven. Are these only girls? Hold on. Are these girls and boys? She uses the Aussie shampoo and conditioner. She uses a ton of conditioner on her hair, don't you? Yes. Like all the time because she has really, really curly, curly, what kind of um, frizzy hair. So she likes to condition it down so it will drop down more because her hair gets really dry. Mm -hmm. She has very, 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 very coily, 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 coily curves and you'll be able to see that even more when we are um watching it and she does have her hair dyed at the ends i just wanted to say an observation so i've noticed people with curly hair like actual curly hair not necessarily well let me not say curly hair uh type three hair as compared to type four i feel like curlier patterns or i don't know if it's the texture like it's like a cottony type of texture they be having like some real tangles i always think it's interesting when like people with type four hair is like tangled and I feel like our hair does not be, it don't be getting tangled and knotted the way some curly textures get tangled and knotted. Am I bugging? Is it only, I feel like, is it just me? Their hair be getting like knotted and it's, I think it's the texture of the hair. It's more like wire, I don't know how to explain it. Um, for Akati's hair, really almost everything works, but she just needs to go through tons of conditioner and detail. Not for Kylie's hair, really almost everything works. Can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot relate. Sprays, because her hair gets extremely tangled too, right? Mm -hmm. And Kylie usually washes her hair by herself, right? Obviously, she's 12, but today I'm going to wash it for her just to make sure that she gets it really, really clean and really, really I'm trying to think. When I was 12, when I was 12, I don't think I was washing my own. Actually, yes. I think I was washing my own hair with the help of like a hairstylist. Oh, that's when I started taking care of my hair and I that's actually the first time I big chopped. That was like the start of everything. It was, yeah, I was 11 or 12. So I must have been doing my hair before that. JK. Should I go to Kylie? Mm -hmm. So Kylie's hair is really tangled up right now. So we're just gonna wash it and then we're gonna leave the conditioner in for a while. And let it detangle. I don't ever, um, comb her hair while it like doesn't have conditioner in it or try to detangle it without conditioner. Yes, that is a very good point for anyone with natural hair, curly hair, coily hair, like you want to make sure you are dousing your hair in water and conditioner before you try and put any type of detangling tool to your hair. Water and conditioner are going to help you out a lot, like a lot. And I don't understand when people wash or comb or brush their kids' natural hair, like curly or kinky hair, dry. Please don't do that. So Kylie has hair that gets wet really, really fast. So, as you notice with my other children, not everyone's hair is like that, but her hair gets wet and soaked super fast. 
dirty soaking wet. And what does that mean, guys? It's probably high porosity. High porosity is like basically your your the pores in your hair open up are usually just open so water could come in and water goes right back out whereas low porosity the cuticle tends to be more sealed and it's hard for water to come in but once it's in it kind of stays there it stays trapped i've been feeling like people with low porosity hair grow their hair longer because their hair stays moisturized longer but that's just me so we're good with that so sunny your hair gets really sunny and nice i'm just gonna wash it So one thing I find with when people have multiple kids, they do a lot of comparisons, right? Which is normal. But I feel like when you have kids with like naturally curly hair, coily hair, kinky hair, um, it's really important to watch how you speak to them or compare their hair to their other kids. I'm not saying she's doing that. I actually think she did a great job of like, like she just said, some of my kids, their hair is like water cuts in it really easily, whereas some of them it's not so much. I feel like that's calm. But some, some parents be out here like, you know, her hair is really good. Her hair is, you know, it'd be giving us some problem. I'm like, why do y'all do that? Like, I feel like children internalize things so much. So we just have to watch how you talk to different types of kids and comparing their hair or their their anything, really. Gotta, I, I, sorry, this just brings me back. Cause I feel like I was compared a lot sometimes and I'm just like, can you not? So that's the take that long. We just take our time, we're not in a rush. Um, we're not going anywhere. Uh -huh. Girl, your hair is tangled. Do you condition your hair? Ooh. Yeah, and but not a lot. And, and detangle it? Mm, I used to, I used to like the pretty Ooh. one. Ooh. Hey! Hey! Oop. Hey! Oh, your hair is so tangled. Good thing I did this. Jesus. Good thing she's not tender-headed because my goodness. We were going good so far, but dang! First of all, I feel like the Denman, I mean, some people love the Denman. And maybe if her hair wasn't as like knotted and tangled, it would work. But I feel like she needs a paddle brush or like a tangle teaser. She needs a tangle teaser. Yeah, I wish she started, you know, from the ends up, but you know, hey. Yeah. Nice when you got your hair this tangled, Kylie. So we're gonna tag team with Kylie's hair because we want to speed up the process. Super detail, it's super tangled. Oh, Kylie, this is so cute of you. I can't see it. <laughs> Loving the communication because me, I would have gotten pissed. I'd be like, Can't you say that it's different section? <laughs> so, this is beautiful. <laughs> okay, so, not just left to right, but yeah. top to bottom. Too. You just want to like get a little piece and you just want to like detangle that little piece. And usually, you want to start from the bottom part because then the top will be in the way if you do the top one first. So, <laughs> tangled up. Is that easier, girl? I can't, I can't continue to hear these sounds. It's the fact that they're also using a Denman brush because Denman brushes are really, really harsh on the hair. But that's how I feel. Some people really love the Denman brush. But I don't think you can go in with a Denman brush on tangled hair. Like, that's just, woo! Next is a Zyle. We're gonna wash the Zyle's hair. Wow, look at that. She has the most hair I think out of everybody. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use the Shea Moisture Low Porosity um, stuff. All the links to everything, if you guys want to know like what I use on the hair will be here. So, you ready? Let's go. For Zyle's hair, because she has so much hair, I actually section it in sections first before I wash it. So I'm just gonna section it in four sections and put it 
and some twists in each section. So I'm gonna pause for a second and say, so one of the things that I was actually thinking about when she was doing her last child's hair, um, or the previous child's hair, was that I think sometimes we feel like with curlier textures or looser textures, their hair isn't as tangled, like, it, you know, like, it's it's just, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like when we think of like type four or like once we get like more curl, once we get curlier or coilier, that's when we kind of give it a little bit more love. Whereas like slightly looser textures, they kind of just like comb their hair in one, one sitting, if that makes sense. So I kind of noticed that just now. And honestly, the first one, she really could have used some sections. <laughs> I feel like that's something we low-key do. Like, I be doing that sometimes. Like, I see curlier hair, and I'm like, girl, what? What is it? But curly hair be getting tangled. It be having knots, bro. So, let me use this low porosity. because it makes all these suds. My sister told me if it makes a lot of suds, that means it's really stripping. But these girls right now, they need a lot of stripping. And I use this for my hair, it's short, so it doesn't matter to me because I just strip my hair and I just condition it right away. But like I said, I'm just, I'll just open up this hair and it's... So that's actually not true. I feel like um, there's definitely a lot of non-sulfate shampoos that still sud and don't necessarily have to strip your hair. Although I actually like sulfate shampoos because if I use a lot of oils and just like a lot of oils and creams on my hair and there's a lot of product buildup on my hair, then I like to go in with a sulfate shampoo because that's actually going to strip all of that oil out so that you don't have product buildup and you can now, you know, seal your hair again and moisture can enter it. Because if your hair is coated with oil, it's hard for, you know, moisture to get in because it's coated with oil. You know what I mean? Oil repels water. So it's like, you get what I'm saying? So as you can see, Zaya already has these dreads forming from her hair that um, I haven't even done anything about washing in these braids and these dread things are coming out. So we're gonna condition it now. I'm actually gonna use the Aussie conditioner because I think she needs a lot of conditioner this time. So I'm just gonna pick apart. She needs a lot of slip. <laughs> she needs a lot, she needs some slip. Condition it and then think it up. Let's start here. So you can see these large things are coming out of her hair. Uh, uh, I'm confused. She's had her hair in braids for a very long time, so. So we're just gonna keep working this in there. Look at all that. Just coming all out. Hmm. I'm concerned, but I'm also like, there's seven kids. Like, of course they're gonna have knots in their hair. Like, what the heck? I'm taking them to the salon. Oh, I can't even take them to the salon. It will be too much money. Lightly braid this back up and just let that sit in there. And I'm gonna do this all to her head. I'm just gonna let that sit and I'm gonna come back and detangle it. So I detangle or un... You just un... Take it out and then put conditioner in it. Yeah. And let it sit. Do I need to brush it in or do I... No, just, just use your hands for... Let it sit. Oh, that's Is that a fly? Oh, I got it. You did. Who uses more conditioner, Kylie or? Who needs more? Yeah. Uh, Zaya. Zaya. This is gonna take a long time. Oh. We're not in a rush, are we, Zaya? Yes. Yeah, nowhere to go. Yeah. <laughs> wow. You've got a lot of conditioner in this girl. We need to get this family a tangle teaser, some type of paddle brush, something. Cause this is hurting my heart. 
Their detangling sessions, I promise, would not be as bad if they had a different tool. I promise. Demon brushes, the work. Tangles and a demon brush do not work. I feel like demon brushes are great if you're trying to smooth out, like do a wash and go, so you wanna like shingling. You remember when we used to call it shingling and stuff? Yeah. That's it. There's no other reason to be using a demon brush on somebody's hair, especially not no tangled hair. It's hurting my heart. Okay. <laughs> The pain tolerance of 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 I don't know who, but <laughs> she know that thing hurt. <laughs> she know, two heads on your hair, just pull it. Pull, it hurts. But I will say it's so cute that you know the father and mother are tag teaming. It's giving very much teamwork. It's giving very much communication. It's giving very much. I'm gonna meet you in the middle, and you know I'm not just gonna let you do this by yourself. I love that. That's a love language right there. Twist it up. I'm just gonna condition it. With what condition? What about this one? Yes, with the that that's the shampoo. That's the shampoo. I'm just gonna condition her hair with the make it last wash and go conditioner. That's it. And then rinse it out. Oh. I feel like you're lying to me. No, I am. Her, you're what? Not. You said you are. No, I'm not lying. Her hair says really well. Oh. I just feel like a good little conditioner will make it. Frizz up. You know. No, it's not gonna make it frizz up because you don't have that type of hair. Those twists look so juicy. Those just look so juicy. And then like stripping shampoo, or you can use a bar of soap, but yeah. Yeah, your hair is very clean. So I know I did it. Can you just put the Ouch. cap over this and just Ouch. let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes and then rinse it clean? Okay. Next we have Aunt Rizzo, and she probably has the thinnest hair. What does that mean? It just means it just fits your hair good. It's nice and thin, no? I like that. You see how the child is like, what does that mean? And she... Kids internalize a lot, okay? So you gotta watch what you say to them, seriously. I love that she was just like, that means it just fits your head. Good girl, your hair is thin. There is nothing wrong with thin hair. We don't have to add a negative connotation to words. You know what I mean? It's just, this is a fact. Your hair is a little thinner. There's nothing wrong with that fits you great. I love that, that was really nice. And it's just a learning lesson for me too when I have my little babies. Gotta, remember, gotta make sure I speak life into them. Make sure they know that anything that they come with, how, like how they come is how they come, okay? And there's nothing wrong with it. This is who you are, period. Thick, thick curls. <laughs> like Shirley Temple curls, those are her natural curls right there. They will never go away. No. If you wash my hair, or my hair will just get all tangled up again. Yeah. So with Erica's hair, shampoo, conditioner. When I first had Erica, I didn't know what to do with this hair. Because it just soaks in. And it gets wet super easy, so you can see her hair is already soaked. So we're just going to wash you. No, I didn't know what to do. you <laughs> reading spa treatment. And you see, I just had a little tiny bit of shampoo in my hair. And, and it went all like this. I just gave a little tiny drop. And this is what happened. Relax, sweetie, relax. This is not relaxing. I'm crying. She said, this is not relaxing. You speak your truth, girl. Okay, just stay right there. So now it's still all tangled up, as you can see her here. So I'm just going to put the conditioner on it now. I haven't combed it or brushed it or anything. I'm fast forwarding. I want to see what tool she's going to use to detangle this girl's hair. <laughs> So now it's nice and thing, so I'm just going to use the comb on her, and we're just going to come from the bottom. A wide tooth? Okay, that's not too well. So we're going to use this for your hair. Hi. This brush is so easy, brush out your hair I figured a Devin would work best for her. This one, I like this child. She speaks her truth. She said, ow, ow, <laughs> this hurts. Child, we, ooh, Lord, okay. Yeah, Angela, you do need to brush out these tangles. Ow! Kids' hair is getting so, Angela's hair has never been this long in her life. All this hair is getting really long, okay? Oh, yeah, see? That's it. Hey! All detangled, that was easy. How? Angela's hair starts to form one big curl so you guys can see how thin Arizo's hair is. Kylie and Zio and Arizo have their hair is all super different as you guys saw. 
Very, very different. And so that's it. Can I have my mirror to see what it looks like? It just looks like your hair regularly looks like. So you see how her hair goes into this one, <laughs> like, curl? So basically it just sits there like this. Okay, we're back to first child. Let's the other side. I love this hairstyle because it really only takes me about what? Like how long, Kylie? Five minutes. Five minutes. Once you know how to do this, you can do it really fast. Just put one right here, and then Kylie can change it. She wants different colors. Okay, done. Show us, Kylie. Ooh, pretty. You look such a darling girl, Kylie. I love this. This is great for 12-year-olds, 13-year-olds. Keep them young. Okay, <laughs> Meanwhile, when I was 12, 13, I was getting so into... My mom really would drop me off at the hair salon and I would get grown woman styles. Like I had sew-ins, everything. The ponytail with added hair. I got the little flat, like what is the thing called? I forgot what it was called, flat twist. Girl, I got my hair straight. That's why I had no hair on my head. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do two buns for Arizona because it's all about getting things right. To be fair, I think I would be a little like confused as to what to do with the child with the thinner hair as well. I would be confused too. I'm trying to think of what could be some really cute styles. Updos, maybe updos. Yeah, I would have to do some research. I'm not even gonna lie. That's cute. <laughs> That's hella cute. Okay, so first I'm gonna start by just taking out Braids. So I decided I was just gonna do four curls going back just to keep it from tangling up until I'm ready to do her final hairstyle in a couple of days from now. I'm gonna do it for her instead of two because I don't want her, her hair will get more tangled if I put it in just two. She know her baby's hair. So we're going to do Asha and Audrey's hair, but they ended up falling asleep. Uh -huh. Oh. All the products I'm using on this house here is basically leave in conditioner, some shea butter and oils to keep it moisturized. I leave all the links in the description if you guys are interested in checking these out or trying these out. So for this house here, I'm just applying extra leave in conditioner, extra shea butter, extra coconut oil because, you know, I said like, she's prone to threading and not at the end of her hair. Mm. So I'm make sure everything is. That's so interesting. Kind of super thing. So there you go, Isaiah. Wow. Wow. Right, I'm cooking, smother. Wait a second. You mean to tell me after washing five heads, this woman went to the kitchen, to kitchen to go and cook. Some of y'all are some serious superheroes. What? First of all, five heads in one day? Like, <laughs> let's start with that. I need to look into this family more. Like, are these their biological kids? Like, has it always been? Like, what? I can't even cook for myself. If I'm washing my hair one day, I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day. I cannot believe this. Yo, you ever, sometimes you watch people are like, jeez, some people really like, have supernatural energy. I don't know where it's from. I let the pork sit to get all the blood out of it. So now, and some water. I don't like all that blood in my stuff. Excuse me, Maya. Okay, guys, this was. <laughs> that was so stressful to watch. Only <laughs> from the detangling to the seven kids, or, you know, five heads to the cooking. It was the cooking for me. <laughs> like that? That set me over the edge. I don't even understand how she could do that. Wow. But I think it's so cool to see how every child, like everyone's hair is so different. It's so cool. But that was really interesting. It was also insightful. Like 
you know? When you have multiple kids, like, every kid is gonna be different. So that was just really cool to watch. I wish she'd use different detangling tools, but I hope, you know, I'm sure the comment section let her know. Let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section below. If there are any other YouTube videos or TikTok videos that you guys want me to react to, always feel free to slide into my DMs on Instagram. That's at Chizzy Duru and shameless plug. I'm at Chizzy Duru everywhere on social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest. Definitely follow me over there too. Here are some other videos that you guys can binge and enjoy and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.